Good morning, wonderful people. Just quickly cover for you today Shiva and Shakti as per the Tantric tradition in India and how it I can explain it as simply as possible, although it's a very highly complex subject and there are many facets to this, but let's try and figure this out in a simplistic way. In that diagram over there of the human being, we have the seven chakra system, the chakras of the human being, the topmost what I call being the point of Shiva and the bottommost being the point of Shakti. I'm sharing the way it came to me. Okay. The energy of the soul is in all of this. This is the soul's multidimensionality at its best. At its best. This, your soul, when it comes, it comes from the top of the head, goes all the way through the head and the spine and comes and rests at the bottommost point of Shakti. So you as a soul mind you as a soul are both Shiva and Shakti all of the time all of the time it's not separate although it is acting through the seven chakra system there are a lot more chakras let's just deal with seven chakras for now so your soul as Shiva as Shakti is acting out through the seven chakra system in order to experience time itself this all the seven chakra system as I'm saying it now is more about the play of time and how you examine different aspects of nature human nature different acts of expression different ways we associate strongly with one area of life and dissociate with some other area of life and all of these things that even play out in Vedic astrology all of these things point to the same thing the same thing is the experience of time itself that's how it plays out folks so how does this play out in this so your soul enters the top of the head goes through the seven chakras and sits at the bottom while all the energy of shiva and shakti is playing out in the seven chakra system you might have weakness in one area of the body or you might have weakness in one area of the mind or thought or thinking <clears throat> you might have propensities in one area of life or the other all of these things play out through the seven chakras and the energy goes upward and downward according to tantra the creation cycle is the downward cycle when you enter from the point of shiva Remember Shiva and Shakti both are there in everyone and acting all the time. These are the polarization of divinity itself. The divine when it has to come as you, as your soul and play out in this dimension of existence is nothing but a multi-dimensional aspect of you which allows you to examine time, examine each one of these points, each one of these chakras and where you are dominantly holding one intention or not holding intention for some other part. So there is a uneven distribution of energy pattern in different chakras. And that's what you're coming to harmonize. The whole lesson, if you want to call it that here, in this dimension of existence is to examine, be able to examine that polarity through time. You need time to experience anything. If all time is removed, if the points of Shiva and Shakti, the soul energy is collapsed, there is no more time, there is no more space, there is only oneness, there is only all that is, there is nothing more left to experience. The whole idea of experience is this seven chakra system according to Tantra. So it has got two cycles, the creation cycle or Srishti as it is called in Sanskrit is going from top to down. That's where it builds this energy force when it travels from top to bottom. It is building cycle or the creation cycle. This is why when the soul energy enters the top of the head, it goes on building the body in the embryo in the womb all the way. And once it has finished building the body, it will sit there as Kundalini in the bottommost tailbone of the body, right? Tailbone of the spine. <clears throat> the dissolution cycle or what is called as laya in tantric tradition the laya karma or the laya act is the act of dissolution is the act of removal 
So this is what the yogis and the tantrics aim for, to bring out that kundalini shakti through the seven chakras and dissolve all these points of association which we have. This is the past karma. This is all the associations we have had with lifetimes, hundreds and thousands of it. So this laya is the dissolution cycle. It dissolves all the polarity. It dissolves all the polarity in each of these points. So as you ascend upward and move from Shakti going towards the point of Shiva, you are dissolving, dissolving as you go upward. That's the Kundalini energy rising which Tantrics and Yogis practice by different forms in India. So that's what is essentially going on between the points of Shiva and Shakti. It's the experience of time itself. When this point of Shiva, your point of Shiva, which is there in every soul, goes point of Shakti, sorry, goes and meets the point of Shiva, there is no more time, there is no more experience. It's just experience of all that is. When one is experiencing all that is, it is beyond time, it is beyond space, it's just oneness itself. Experience in this dimension is possible because of this multidimensional polarity. So if you take what the first one was, it's intuition and clarity and awareness. The second one was expression, voice and communication. The third one was heart connection and empathy. The fourth one, creative identity and connection to others. The fifth one, sexual expression and creative physicality. We examined this before, right? <clears throat> and the last one is survival, food and shelter. So as you are experiencing these chakras, you might be dominantly focused on one area or dominantly focused on other areas of life and this is even reflected in your Vedic astrology charts, even in your planets, even in what ascendant you are born in. It is reflected everywhere in, in your psychology, in your behavior, in your life, in your partnerships, in what you gain and lose, the concept of gains and losses. All this is merely an experience of time as per Tantra and what the effort of the Tantric is to remove that polarity in each chakra by taking the kundalini shakti from the point of shakti towards the point of shiva this is the whole idea of the tantric tradition i'm trying to summarize a very complex subject here folks but that's it in its essential and to do this it has two channels the left side and the right side the male side and the female side the ida and the pingala nadi nadi means the channel the channel of energy which it travels in either side of the spine and in the middle of this there is a meeting point called Sushumna the neutral point of the Nadi where there is only neutrality so these energy travels in both ways through Ida and Pingala Nadi through the spine and it acts on the left side as feminine of the body and right side of the body as masculine. So we have even left and right sides. That's why pranayama, when it's practiced, it's left and right nostrils, left and right hands for the mudras and so on and so forth. So there's polarization even between the center to left and right half, right? That's what we are experiencing here. This is tantric tradition in its most condensed form. This is what it's trying to do. And from what I come to understand increasingly is this is what many channelers, many people are calling the multidimensional aspect of soul because the soul is experiencing all of these points all at once. It's not a linear system. The fact that Shiva is residing on top of the head and Shakti is residing at the bottom of the spine doesn't mean nothing is happening at both between these two polar opposite ends. Shiva is the absolute point of stillness. Shakti is the absolute point of movement. Shakti never rests. Shakti is always trying to create through these seven chakras and maintain and sustain the entire system. Right? So as long as the person is alive in the body, these chakra system have to work because that's the way the body and organs and all the functioning, all the metabolism, all the hormones, all the ups and downs, all the nature, mind, heart, voice everything works because of this shakti energy she is in constant movement shiva is the absolute point of stillness absolute point of that's the polarity we are talking about when you talk of absolute stillness and absolute movement 
everything happens between these two that's the experience of time and that experience of time is what is being experienced by all of us it's not one thing or the other it's both it's all of it okay so just wanted to quickly leave you with this idea of tantric tradition just for the light workers so that you know how it is portrayed in the tantric tradition of course the shakti assumes different forms here if you want to see lalita sasrama it is told everything is told so the devik shakti or the goddess energy is goes through each one of these chakras assumes different forms gives different kind of attributes to the heart center the throat center to the third eye and so on and so forth one more aspect i'd like to bring is the top three chakras you see over there are all more like shiva the bottom three chakras are more like shakti very very physical very grounded shakti is very grounded she is the one who creates the whole universe in physical tangible forms whatever we experience as our body is the last three chakras and the top three chakras are more like shiva more abstract thinking more male oriented more um not groundedness so to speak more etheric you can't point it out to one thing because things assume a conceptual form when you go from throat chakra upwards the meeting point of this top three chakras and bottom three chakras is the heart center this is why it is very crucial in my understanding for us to make a deep heartfelt center examine with your heart everything because it's the balance point between shiva and shakti you cannot understand this divinity intellectually you cannot understand creation intellectually it has to be understood by heart connection all of this creation as per tantric tradition also is created out of love it is not created out of just intelligence its own aspect but what sustains this entire existence is mainly love it's only love is what i'm getting okay so keep this in mind I hope this helps you in some way today and uh, take care be safe